We are 11 Alive Storm Trackers will be tracking that potential for flooding rain again this week. I'm meteorologist Samantha Moore and we're going to see some heavy rain starting tomorrow afternoon through Tuesday and then another wave of rain comes in Wednesday into Thursday. So this first event, two to four inches in the first event alone, uh, severe storms possible with that second wave that comes in Wednesday into early Thursday. So we'll be watching for that severe potential to go up as we head into this week. So this is going to be another very busy week here at 11 Alive in terms of weather. We have a flood watch in place from 1 o'clock tomorrow through 7 p.m. on Tuesday. That's where we expect to see the heaviest of the rain, two to four inches of rain, with some spots getting even more than that, possibly five inches across local areas in northwest Georgia, far northwest Georgia. So as we head into Monday, the morning commute most likely mostly dry, but as the afternoon kicks in here, that's when we'll see those rain chances going up in through the overnight as well. Uh, Monday night into Tuesday. Storm Prediction Center giving us a chance for general thunderstorms on our Monday as well as into Tuesday. So we're not really too concerned about severe weather Monday, Tuesday. That's going to be more of a possible heavy rain flooding event. But once we get into Wednesday night, Thursday, Storm Prediction Center has been pretty good at giving us these early warnings as of lately or, or early um, advisories that we could end up seeing some damaging severe thunderstorms. So in their convective outlook, their extended convective outlook, they're giving us a level two out of five levels uh, Wednesday night into Thursday, and that's mainly going to be a damaging wind event with all the rain we're going to be getting. Everything's going to be very saturated, so trees could easily come down. We could see a lot of power outages. Flooding is possible, of course, with another wave of very heavy rain and then isolated tornadoes. We can't rule those out as well as we get into those overnight hours into early Thursday. So let's talk about the timing of all this on our Monday. We'll see that rain moving towards us as we get into the afternoon hours. I think uh, heavy at times, especially later in the evening. We can see some very heavy downpours and into the overnight as well. So this is early on Tuesday morning with some very heavy rain. That commute will likely be a washout as well. And then it becomes more showery during the day on Tuesday. And then we'll see more rain heading in Tuesday night into Wednesday morning and then yet another wave uh, Wednesday night into Thursday morning and that's when we could see the severe storms as well as a little wintry precip here on the back side of things so kind of looks very reminiscent of last week but even more rain heading in this time around and really adding up the first waves uh, right around an inch and a half to two and a half inches on Monday and then more on into Tuesday adding up to two to four inches and then a lot more rain coming in later on in the week. So it is going to be a very soggy week ahead with that chance for severe storms. Be sure to keep checking back with us each day as we refine this forecast going towards that severe weather potential Wednesday into Thursday. In the meantime, keep the umbrella handy. Temperatures going up into the upper 60s the next few days and then cooling off on the back side of that system Friday into Saturday. And it would be likely Friday into Saturday that we could see a few flakes fly across the mountains of North Georgia, so stay tuned.